We're back again. This time we're doing Joker, The Dark Knight. Joker versus Joker. Suicide Squad Joker. I can tell you meant that. Yeah. Versus Why So Serious. So we're going to see who will win a fight between both Jokers. You remind me of my father. Yeah, this is an MMU. They've done five episodes already? This is the first time I've ever heard of them. The hell is MMU? I, originally, I was not going to say anything until I heard it. <laughs> but since you don't know who it is either. <laughs> but they're episode five right now. Episode five. So I wonder who else they've made. Let's find out. Fight each other. But uh, anyway... Let's get ready to jump into this Joker. Speaking of Joker. This will make and sense. And here we go. Mm. Oh, shoot. Three for three. Oh. <laughs> Matchups. Everyone's just, just like sponsored by Loot Crate now. Apparently. I need to try to get on Loot Crate. Yeah. Loot Crate Fiesta. <clears throat> Black guy's gonna die. He has to. You know. He's counting the money. Like Save the simple things in life. Why is he like that? Like gunpowder, gasoline. But most of all, pencils. Magic tricks. Pencils. Pencils. I like to sharpen them. Whoa. And, and make them disappear. <laughs> By sharpening them down. Yeah, he's gonna die. He grabbed the gun too quickly. How you just gonna walk in? Everybody got And not get shot. You thought you could steal from me? I saw yeah. that. Yeah. If you weren't so crazy, I think you were insane. So, you're the one that everyone's telling me about. Well, that's right. And you have something that belongs to me. And I want it back. You want it back? Fight! Then come get it. Nobody did it? Mm. Everybody should be uh, Oh, that was Harvey Dent. <laughs> Not the White Knight anymore. Uh, Asian guy gonna die too. Uh, Harvey Dent. Harvey Dent's little brother. Oh, somebody died. And he he got shot in the eyeball. I told you Asian guy was gonna die. He had to. Wait, wasn't it? Oh no, that was his. Oh, he should be good. They're all confused. Why is the Joker's aim so immaculate all of a sudden? I don't know. When the first, like, 30 shots missed every Is it most of the crew dead? So how is so many bullets are falling? It's for your own good, baby. Okay, whoever that was in the jumpsuit's dead. The prison is dead. Backhanded. <laughs> <laughs> Make it disappear. Oh no! Why so serious? Hey. So, but you should be dead too. <laughs> you, you could have very easily just turned around and back and back and back. Okay, you're blown up. No. Uh, no, you're, you're blown up. Jumpsuit saved her. Wow. <laughs> Harley. Well, the rope's too tight. 
I was all part of the plan, but besides, he's still alive. I've had worse. Dang. So how come the other dude didn't? Uh... Super awesome monthly mystery geek box where you can get really cool stuff, kind of like this Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Megazord shirt and this Lego Batman food container that is exclusive to Loot Crate. Lego Batman. Support the show and get awesome Batman. stuff for yourself at the same time by hitting Batman the Loot Crate.com slash Ismoth. Use the promo code Ismoth. Ismoth. Own Loot Crate and get stuff like this. Thanks for watching, Dead guys, genius. and stay tuned to see who's battling in the next matchup. Do it. Dead parents. Do it. Follow ah, oh, Subscribe oh, and follow us on our social media to find out who Star Lord will face in our next episode. Check out the Evolution of Joker companion <laughs> video created by our friends over the at the Gardening Tool. And if you really like our videos and want to help us make more, consider supporting us on Patreon. Mm, no, All right, do see you next time. I don't know, bro. Uh, we already have like superhero beatdown, death battles. We have a lot of people doing this. Wait, so what does MMU stand for? I, I missed it. Okay. Me too. So it wasn't sure. included. Moo. <laughs> <laughs> it was not involved. Uh, what do you think about it, Phil? Joker versus the Joker? First, Joker first of all, uh, that grenade would take everybody in their room out. Because that room was like the size of... Like, no, it was house. a compressed grenade. Like, it only a was compressed? Meant, it was only meant to kill one you, you know, and a half people. You know, with stuff that's explosive, the more compressed it is, the... the, the no, it's a compressed. Oh, okay. It's yeah. compressed. I yeah. only kill one and a half people. No, it's a so <laughs> when he threw it. Where's the half? Of it? You get half blown out. Yeah, when how does he that threw work? it, there was one dude still alive, and there's another dude who's already oh, half dead. Oh, really? Oh, okay. so it just took took them out. <laughs> and since it would land it closest to those two people, it did not have enough capacity to kill Harley Quinn, no. who was <laughs> laying there three uh, feet from it. Super dead. So, Sorry. Real grenades have shrapnel. Shrapnel goes everywhere. Like I said it wasn't one of those. Um, it wasn't one of those type everywhere of Everywhere means pew, pew, everybody going to Actually, it might be like boom, boom. Everybody going to <laughs> Boom, boom. He didn't have the capacity to do that. No, I'm sorry. That's a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a grenade in the center of this room and hide behind this little table and see if you're still alive when it goes up. That one, yes. Hell no. Batman? Yeah. <laughs> Phil, we've already seen Batman with like atomic batarangs. Nothing should surprise you at this point anymore. Nothing. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Nothing. He's walking around with that. He got irradiated like <laughs> before his 20s was up. He should have been dead. No. Nothing should surprise you, period, anymore when it comes down to this type of stuff. A nuclear batarang. So, what do you think about Dark Knight Joker versus Suicide Squad Joker as uh, the movies go. I mean, they both should be dead because Joker shot through his head to hit Joker. And then. Well, we know Joker can take a lot of pain. He made the pencil disappear on Joker, which the last time that happened, like somebody died. But that was just a henchman, though. So his life bar was like oh. that big. Okay. So like the Joker's life bar is like this. So I see. When you do the pencil trick on him, it's just like, and that's it. And then when you shoot yourself, it's just like, oh really? It's not a whole lot of damage actually. <laughs> but what do you think about the characters themselves, Joker um, and Joker? As far as the, oh, the movie, actual yeah, movies as far as their movies went, yeah. I liked Dark Knight Joker. Because he set the the bar like so freaking high. All the rest of the Jokers have been the trickster, you know. Uh, what was that? Silver Age, you know. Because the first one he was the gangster, then he was the trickster because of the you know the uh, CCA or whoever it is, the comic censoring. Yeah, the CCA. So he became a trickster, and he was doing like dumb stuff. 
and that's where you know Jack Nicholson comes in and that famous line that people probably only know him for uh, Suicide Squad Joker was more like the gangster Joker the original which a lot of people don't like him but they don't know nothing about him because that was like the 20s true or whenever I don't know very true uh, personally, because I was aware of him, I was like, okay, well, I mean, that's that's just a different aspect of Joker, because there's three different ones, and even with the this new thing going on, I have no idea about, but all three Jokers exist in one place, um, one universe. Is it the? I forgot what it was called. Anyways, uh, I thought it was nice to go in a different direction. And as far as that particular Joker, he killed it. I liked him because of the fact that he was able to, to get such a lock on Joker that we don't see. This this generation doesn't know about that Joker unless you just really like either Joker or DC or Batman, I guess. Right. But as far as overall, I still I like the direction Heath Ledger went in because of the fact that that's the Joker everybody knows. That's the ones we grew up to. That's the one that even if you put him in jail, like, it doesn't matter because he wanted to be there anyway. Like, that's the, the, the psycho genius who's crazy and dangerous, who's actually kind of funny and sometimes corny, but, like, that Joker is probably a fan favorite because of the fact that he's, his, uh, he has, his, character is so dynamic that like you don't know what to expect you know he might have you know a gun that says bang he might have a gun that you know shoots acid out you know you never know so everybody's always scared <laughs> you know like everybody's like okay I'm gonna, die. I'm gonna just die like not too many people go up against Joker and come out okay yeah they come out maimed scarred or something like that a freaking psychological damage or something yeah. you know like there's always something even if you do get the bang one he probably doesn't tied you up and you know had you tortured for a tortured time. for three days or you know on the same merry-go-round like for a week you know what I'm saying, but like you never just walk away from the Joker okay. So you like Heath like, Ledger's I like Joker? I like Heath Ledger definitely over Suicide Squad Joker. I like Heath Ledger overall, but I appreciate the fact that they brought light to the Joker that not many people know about. Gotcha. Well. Do I like Heath Ledger's Joker? Yes. Why do I like it? It's actually like the final stage of Joker. And I kind of feel like that's why a lot of people like that Joker. Because it's like, it's like if someone was like, look, I can give you this set of armor, it's the beginning set of the armor, or I can give you the final stage of the armor after I've already worked on it. Everybody's going to go for the final stage of the armor. See, that Heath Ledger's Joker was the final Joker. He is the ending. When Joker gets to the older age, which a lot of people don't know, once he gets to that older age, that was the Joker that, that's the end right there. How he was. He's a full on anarchist. He has no attachment to nothing whatsoever. Everybody's disposable, period. Like how he burned all that money because it didn't mean Jack in that movie. You know what I'm saying? Like how he was but, like. But he went out of his way to charge everybody half. Bingo. You see what I'm saying? Like how he broke that pool stick. Yeah. He was like, uh, we're looking for members, you know, tryouts. Yeah. He was like, oh, and only one position. make it quick. Yeah, it's only one position, and make it quick. And he threw it down, and how no one in his group knew anything. They were all disposable. Oh, my God. That, that, was, that was amazing. How he was sacrificing people. You know, the from, dude, he from, blew up. From the beginning, phone. yeah, from the very beginning. He offed to the end. everybody and, and got away with the money. Oh, and I, and I suppose he told you to kill me. No, 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 no. no, no. I killed the bus driver. I killed the bus, bus driver. driver. Bus what driver. bus? Yeah. You know. Like, ah! <laughs> so that's the final stage of the Joker. 
the Joker we got in Suicide Squad is kind of like a middle stage of Joker. He still has attachments. That's why he had the club, the money, the car, mm -hmm. Harley Quinn. You know what I'm saying? Even though he was ready to sacrifice her to save himself, it was a very, in very... In turn. Yeah. It, it was and very, then, very like, blew important. the city up to go get her back. There was a very, very important part to that movie where he had her jump into that gooey stuff and then he went in to go get her. Mm -hmm. That's a very important part of the movie. It's showing how he was going to turn his back, but he still has an attachment to things. Mm -hmm. Harley Quinn becomes his last attachment, and then when she finally leaves him, he doesn't have anything else. So that's how he begins to enter into that stage of Heath Ledger's Joker. It's because of that reason. A lot of people don't know that, but if you read the read, it was like the 2000. 10 or 2009 reboot of Batman and Robin that's when he still had the crew he was banging chicks and stuff like that in them comic books that's like you said the gangster Joker reimagined basically but showing more of his possessive I'm still possessed you know I'm still attached to things side versus the Heath Ledger's Joker where everyone can die I'm really just in this for the thrill. Mm -hmm. So, like, I, I agree with him. I like Heath Ledger's Joker, but it's because it's the final stage of Joker, and I believe that's why a lot of people like that Joker, even those who don't even know it. They're getting that, and that's why they're so attached to that Joker. Mm -hmm. But I do agree with you. I am very, very appreciative of the Suicide Squad Joker, period. Just because it's shedding light on that side of the Joker, that a lot of people just don't know about. And they think like Harley Quinn and Joker are like so in love and stuff like that. Not really. He had he she's his last it's, attachment. It's, it's an infatuation, but it's one-sided. And, yeah, and she's solely she's infatuated with him. Crazy about him, and he's just like, hey, I'm gonna play on this. You know? So I'm a Heath Ledger Joker, but I know that's because it's the final stage of the Joker. And no, everyone loves the final stage. Like if you get the final stage of Superman. Everyone's like, yeah, like that's the most powerful, most dominating form of him. No one wants to go back to him running before he learned learn how to fly and all the other type of stuff. Or that, or that drop step from the uh, from the show. Yeah, <laughs> nobody wants to go back to that. So I understand. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. I had no idea they had five episodes of whatever they do. Whatever that is. Which seems like it be fights. Yeah. Well, that's going to do it. I'm mixing. Phil. And we out.